So as we discuss these features and products and how they affect the market, we wanted to bring in an expert, Kevin Shamoon, SVP of Product and Innovation at Fortis. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you, glad you're here with us. Thanks for having me, Timmy. Kevin, a couple questions that we wanna kind of dig into here. In your words, from your perspective, what is this feature that some call retained amount, others call split funding, um, others may call it split deposits or split payments, or secondary amount. We've heard a lot of different terms. What does that mean to you and why is it important? Retained amount is the ability for a software company to dictate an amount from a single transaction that's gonna be withheld from the merchant's deposit. And the use cases are, there's plenty of them. Uh, the most notable is, uh, gives the ability for the software company to collect some SaaS fees in line with transaction processing. So if a, an ISV or software company wants to withhold you know, a couple percentage points uh, from a transaction standpoint, they have that ability by using the retained amount field. We can use it for uh, things like a percent of the transaction goes to maybe a good cause from a donation standpoint. Um, the other use case would be around uh, like a roundup situation to, to be able to use uh, those pennies from a deposit standpoint uh, on a transaction uh, to retain that as well. Great, and, and why did Fortis actually develop that technology? Was it for a particular use case or was it something that you believe is table stakes for the future? So Fortis is customer driven. You know, from a product standpoint, we like to listen to our customers and develop the things that they're asking for. You know, From an innovation standpoint, we try to get ahead of the curve. We like to be leading edge. Uh, in this scenario from a retained amount, it's really just uh, providing some flexibility for software companies to be able to give them another way to collect fees or to do something a little more creative in some instances. And what was involved in launching that technology? We all know that launching product and features is not an easy thing to do as we layer on top of technology. Um, but what was involved in that and what can somebody expect when building something like this out? When developers want to leverage this, it's as simple as just letting the uh, developer support team know that they want to uh, add this functionality and feature set, and the team will give them all the, the requirements, which is just a few, to be able to uh, actually take this to APIs and embed them within their platform. It's a pretty simple process for any developer to do from an implementation standpoint. Uh, we have SDKs available, we have you know, different postman collections, et cetera, that you know, developers really find handy. Uh, to be able to implement this technology. So it's it really is a, a pretty simple and seamless process should a software company or developer you know, look to want to in, integrate and implement uh, retained amount functionality. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kevin. Appreciate you being here today. Thanks, Timmy. It's been great.